Well, I thought I'd get out today. I didn't get out yesterday because of the rain. I, and it's late in the afternoon now, and I couldn't get out this morning because of the rain. Still a little bit of clouds over there and some right over yonder. But I need to go pick up a couple of items. Um, Oh dear, I didn't get my... I'll do it on the card. I need to get some more cottage cheese. I wonder how long that keeps in the refrigerator, because sometimes I catch it on sale, but I... And I eat a lot of cottage cheese. I don't know if it's good for me or not, to tell you the truth. But, I am going to Publix and look at there. Somebody's got a, I want to put a cord on that thing. I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look. Of course, I'm not in crap steel business anymore, can't haul it, no money in it. It's got a cord on it, I'll cut the cord. But, I'm gonna say the cord's probably been cut, but oh no, it's right there. I will get the cord. I'm a cord cutter. Uh, I ain't got this thing on my hat right now, so let's see. I better have my cutters in here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That is a dryer. How's a dryer running on one tin? Or is that a washer? No, that's a washer. That's a What are you doing? What'd you cut off of there? Huh? What'd you cut off of there? A cord. Why? It's, it's a perfectly good thing and now you just ruined it to have somebody take it. You just ruined it now. It doesn't work, does it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just ruined it now. Well, I did, you should have put a sign on it that said it worked. Well, you should have go around taking things off of things. Well, that's what scrappers do, ma'am. You want the cord back? Well, they said it. It's a dryer. A one ten. Well, I've never seen it.
down. She should have put a sign on it that said works. Well, that's a bad start for the day. She sure, if it works, she sure should have put a sign on it that said works because the scrapper come along and he ain't going to check to see if it works. He's going to throw it on the truck and it's going in the scrap. So, they're not, shoot, no, they're not going to, uh, do that but there again yeah if you set something out there like that an appliance and it works you should put a sign on it works free or something like that A 110 dryer? i never seen a 110 volt dryer. I thought it was a washer because of the cord on it. But, you know, I guess I'll go back later and I, I can put that cord back on it if she wants me to, but a scrapper, a scrapper will take that. They're not going to... There you go. You know, just common sense would tell you that you set something out the curb it's going to go, I'd say 99% of the time, it's scrap. But if you set an appliance out there that, that works, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, you need to put works on it. Well, shoot, I can't let her mess up my day, and I, I know the, well, I don't know who she is, I just know she's a neighbor. Oh, uh, there's something else. What is that? Wow. That is a, is that plastic or is that metal? No, that's plastic. And that's a, a cheap. It's a pretty little table though, but it's plastic. It ain't metal. So I'm done. That lady's done. Yes, dear, you should have sure put on our work. Otherwise, the scrapper will come by and he'll get it and he won't even check. He's just going to assume because you have it sitting out there that it, it's scrap. And now she tells me I ruined it. Actually, she ruined it because... Is that a can? Yeah, it's Ken.
you know, that's her fault. Gosh almighty, I can, she's messed up my day. Well, she ain't messed it up. She's messed with my head. No, it's not trash day, but I'm just headed over to Publix. I gotta get, I gotta get some uh, college cheese. I'm just about out. Yeah, that's got me flustered now. I ruined it. And had I known it worked, I surely wouldn't have cut a cord off of it because I'm, I hate cut cords off of stuff that works. <laughs> she busy. I'll leave her be. That's Lisa. She still sure got a nice yard though, boy. I'll tell you what. She... Yep. You know, uh, back in the day, and I'm talking back, as far back as I remember, late 40s and early 50s, uh, everybody was over at my grandmother's. She'd go out to the chicken pen on, on a Sunday. She'd go out on a Sunday morning. and grab a couple of chickens and she tricked the chickens. She'd, she'd go out, they'd, they'd usually run from her when she goes out to the pen, but she would go out there with a handful of chicken feed. And she'd throw it down there at her feet. Of course, then the chickens would come running. And she'd grab, she'd grab two chickens by the head and she'd wring their necks. That was Sunday dinner. Uh, but the thing about it, and I don't know why that was the way it was. I don't know if other families was like this or not. But when dinner got all fixed and everything, everything got set on the big dining room table. Uh, the ones that got to eat first was the grown-ups. Us kids had to sit around out in the yard till they got done. And when the grown-ups got done, then we was could come in there and get, you know, sit down there and eat. And we never got any good cuts of the, uh, <laughs> of, you know, like a breast or anything like that. They they grabbed them things all up. Usually they left the legs and the wings, especially the thighs and the wings. And it just strikes me as odd. That something wrong with that, don't we just couldn't all sit down. Maybe it's because we couldn't all get at the table at once. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the way it was at Grandma's house. That's the way it was. And then her house, she never had, she was Seventh-day Adventist, so she never had anything like pork. Uh, she never cooked with the 
grease like lard or anything like that. It had to be vegetable shortened. I don't know what she used. I think she used beef tallow sometimes, which is beef fat. But she never, she never used anything from the pig. But I'll tell you what, she, she sure fried up some good fried chicken. But I, 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 maybe that was why they did that because everybody couldn't get at the table at the same time. You know what, somebody's been in here and dropped a couple of cans, so I still ain't been able to get my daughter to come over here with the car and help me clean this up. Oh! That's it. Is that something there? No. Be careful, Russell. You don't want to... That's aluminum, so that'll go over there. That gun. I'll get in here and fall. Careful, Russell. Careful, Dauber. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I hate being like that. I swear. Take these little baby steps. And there's that one. Now there's one over there, but I need to step over this. I'm gonna. Have start figuring oh, oh, oh got that one you know what there's some in there but I ain't gonna be able to I'll sure enough bust my butt Yes, I will. I wasn't scrapping today. But as I've always said,